Come on, Georgia. You're the oldest. You're supposed to be setting an example. What the hell were they doing in the office? Have you lost your mind? I hired some St. Ambrose nurses to babysit when I had patients. Otherwise, I'll be watching them. You told me to figure it out. This is what I came up with. I I heard the triplets. This is not a solution. You're an idiot if you think you can see patients and raise our children all you in the same room. You know what, lady? You haven't offered any solutions. And you're living the life. You go off to work, you kiss them on the head when they're asleep and quiet and dry, and I do everything, and you don't even give a damn. And you offer no other options. Because there are no other options I can live with. Every day I run through the thousands of things that can go wrong, and when you think about what it took to get them here, what we went through, the only way I can breathe is knowing that they're with the one person who can protect them from the big, scary world. I don't mean to be a bitch, Cooper. It's just, you're a pediatrician, and you're their dad, and you're amazing. Put it that way, I can't really be mad at you. So what are we gonna do? I can't keep them in the office with you. There's Pete's office. It's just sitting there. Make an amazing nursery. Wouldn't you like to see your Auntie Vi every day?